Hello Pride fans, my name is Matt Hume. Tonight we're going to do something unique. I'm going to sit with you and judge the fights right alongside live during the matches. Hopefully this will give you a better enjoyment of the fights. And right now I want to give you a brief education in how we go over judging criteria in Pride. Pride has a unique and effective system of scoring fights that go to a decision. I'm going to explain that system to you now. The first criteria that we use is EPON. For the purposes of you home viewers, EPON means the effort to finish the fight. What we're looking for as judges is that the fighters display the right attitude and make the effort to knock their opponent out or to submit their opponent and to go for the finish in the fight. The second criteria that we look for as judges is damage. When the fighters are striking effectively, they will create damage on their opponent with either one strike or the accumulation of strikes. Now we also look for damage from submission. If a fighter gets into a submission hold position but miraculously escapes that position but suffers damage, then we will award the fighter who placed in that, in that position with a damage point. The third criteria that we use here in Pride is combination and ground control. Combination points are scored by the fighters throwing effective striking combinations while on their feet and ground control points are scored when the fighters take it to the ground, pass the guard, and get positions where they can do damage from. They get points for the effort and achieving those actual positions and making those good combinations on the feet. The next criteria that is equally important is takedown and defense. Now some of the fighters in Pride are wrestlers or takedown experts. They come from judo backgrounds or other martial arts that are unique in their takedown ability. When they achieve takedowns and show superiority in the takedowns, we award them points for that. Now, if the fighter stops them from taking them down, they are also awarded points for that. The next criteria is aggressiveness. Pride really looks for the fighters to finish the fights to create exciting fights for you fans. Now, aggressiveness is a criteria that we use that is similar to Epon, however, aggressiveness is in general, whereas Epon is specific aggressiveness to finish the fight. One of the things we do here also that's a criteria in Pride is a weight point. Now, if there's a difference of 10 kilograms for you in the United States, that's about 22 pounds. If there's a difference between the fighters, as you will see in one of the matches tonight, the lighter fighter is awarded a point in each round to begin the fight so that that heavier fighter has to make that point up with other criteria. Okay, if the referee awards a yellow card to a fighter, that means the fighter has either got that card for stalling or for intentionally breaking a rule. Now, if it's a stalling call, you'll see the hand come up from the sideline judges as well. And when the referee gets confirmation, he will bring those fighters to their feet and give the appropriate fighter the stalling call. That's a point deduction. The fighters will resume the action again, and hopefully they won't stall again. Now, the other way to have a point deducted is by intentionally breaking the rules. We take rule breaking very seriously at Pride. We want to see sportsmanship, and we want to see good action. So anytime a rule is broken, the yellow card is awarded, and it's possible that a red card can be awarded also, eliminating that fighter from the fight. Tonight, I'll be joining you fans for the second and third fight, and you'll have the opportunity to score the fights right along with me. When I see the criteria come up, I'll point it out, and if you want to keep the score right along beside me, we'll be able to compare notes, and uh, hopefully that will add to your education and enjoyment of the fights here.